Hello, hello everybody, it is JC Coach Zoe. I am ecstatic to be here because we are here for my favorite thing of the year, our next JC Live on the red carpet. We have a line of talent waiting, waiting to come see you guys and show off their skills, tell you all about themselves. And Mr. Cameron is coming in first. Hello, hello, buddy. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? Oh, fantastic. Thank you for asking. Now, I have a special question for you. You've been one of my favorite students, so I want to ask, what was your favorite thing about John Casablancas? My favorite thing about John Casablancas is like to have so much fun in the improv and the acting classes and all of the modeling classes. And I really loved all of y'all personalities and the so much fun I had this year. You're a sweetheart. Remind me, how old are you? I'm nine years old. Nine years old? My goodness, you are so mature and you're doing such a great job this week. Thank you. Do you have any kind of wishing luck to everybody? What would yes. be advice for them? Advice is um, always do your best. Never keep your head down because you will always have a second chance in life. Cameron, you are amazing. I am so proud you are here. You keep killing it, bud, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, the beautiful and talented Heather is coming in. Here she is. Oh, we got it all. Can I get a pose from you in this? Maybe a little bit of a twirl. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so tell me, what are you wearing and why? It's my swimwear because we're going into swimwear competition. <gasps> okay, first time on an actual big runway, right? Yes. Oh, nerves. Nerves, no. excitement. Give me like three words of how you feel. Oh my goodness, excited, ambitious, and just determined. Those are three perfect words, Heather. And you know, I kind of like this question again. What's one word of advice you'd give to someone maybe before they walk the runway for the first time? To breathe. <laughs> just to breathe. Don't hold your breath and don't pass out. Is that what we're saying? Exactly. Exactly. Also, don't lock your knees. Did you know if you lock your knees for a long period of time, you could pass out too? I did. I've hit the floor a few times. No. Oh, okay, okay. You're the person to tell us about this then. My goodness. So breathe. Is that right? Yes, breathe. Can I get one last pose from you? What pose are you going to do in this swimwear? Oh, I like it. I like it. Heather, I am so glad you're here. Let's give her a little bit of round of applause. Let's have her go kill her first runway. Woo woo! woo, -woo. Corbin is coming in next. Corbin, where are you from? Oh, uh, well, I was I lived in Wisconsin for most of my life, so I moved out to Connecticut now. Oh, awesome. So how does it feel traveling for modeling and acting for the first time? Uh, well, I, I love traveling, and uh, I've been to most of the United States, so it's not the first time. That's amazing. Now, how has your experience been here in Texas? Is it everything you thought? Is it more? Is it different? How has it been going? Well, it's so humid down here. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty good. I, I'd love to hear. Meet new people, so many people I love to hang out with here. That's amazing, amazing. How has your experience been this week? Is that everything you thought? Well, being my first expo, I didn't know what to expect at first, but I met a lot of new people, made a lot of new connections. There's so many great talent here. I a friend that sings really well, but yeah. That's amazing. It sounds like you're having so much fun, and it's just been an absolute honor having you here this week. Thank you, thank you. Good luck in your sportswear. All right, thank you, thank you. <gasps> Kendall's coming in. How are you? Doing good, how about you? Doing fantastic, you look good. I like this outfit. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You look amazing as well. So kind, thank you. So Kendall, tell me, why did you start modeling and acting? Was this something you always wanted to do? Something that just kind of happened? Why did you start modeling and acting? Basically, yes. It's always something I wanted to do. It can be like a new experience and sometimes I just get over my certain fears and everything. So it's a challenge, but it's a fun challenge. That's amazing. So what was the biggest challenge you've overcome? Was it stage fright? Was it shyness? What was that? It was mostly stage fright. Mostly stage fright. <laughs> stage fright's a tough one. Now, you are here auditioning not only in front of agencies from all over the world, but hundreds of other talent. Do you have your stage fright this week? I did, but I pushed it to the side, built myself up with confidence, and I can thank the friends that I met here as well. They encouraged me, inspired me to do better, and I'd just like to thank the friends that I made. 
That's amazing. Well, it sounds like you're having a great experience. We are so glad you're here and just keep killing it this week. Let's get it up for Kendall. He's doing amazing. Hi, Jacob. How are you? Doing good, Zoe. Thank you. So, Jacob, I know you've been told quite a few times this week by Coach Merrill that you have the best radio voice. Oh, thank you. Is this the first time you've heard it? Um, actually, I've heard it quite a few times. Like, uh, I've heard it uh, even before arriving here at Expo, but I've also heard it uh, a few times when I was in college. Like, people always say, hey, maybe you should do radio voiceover. But I thought, but radio's soon gonna die. Why? What's the point of that? But still, it's. It, people have been calling me, like, the new Barry White or something like that. You know what? I gotta say, when you are the new. Very white. I cannot yeah. wait to say yeah. I met you. I knew you once. That's gonna be amazing. Yeah, let's get it on. <laughs> let's get it on. There you go. Okay, so besides what people tell you, uh -huh. what kind of modeling and acting really speaks to you? What would be your goal or your passion? Um, not so much the modeling side of it. Like modeling in itself would be an amazing experience, but it's really acting that I fell in love with. Really, and with um, my deep voice and with my physicality, it would be great to do some physical comedy, like all the greats that I know, like uh, Brian Cranston and uh, Julia White and Dick Van Dyke. But I also want to go into like the dramatical, sort of like how Robin Williams did. You know? Do you have a favorite joke to tell us today? No, I don't. You do not. I like your honesty. And honestly, if I did, it would not be appropriate. So. That's the knee slapper. That's the joke, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you. Good luck in the rest of your auditions. You got this. Thank you. We have number 16, 12 coming in, Zach Bacon. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Doing fantastic. I gotta say, every time I run into you this week, I just love seeing you. You look like you're having so much fun. Is that correct? Yes, I am. I'm always having fun. That's that's the goal. I think that's amazing. I'm so, so glad you're having fun. Take a little step over here. Our cameramen are telling us, move over. So now, what made you start modeling and acting? Well, it's always something that I've wanted to do, but I didn't have the courage or confidence to actually start doing it until recently, where I was like, all right, cool. Uh, maybe I should just actually start doing this. And so you always kind of wanted to do it. You're just now doing it. What would you tell someone who is thinking about modeling, thinking about acting? What's kind of that first tip, that first suggestion? Literally just do it. Uh, that's pretty much about it. You're probably not going to be good at first, but you always want to improve. That's the best thing you can do. I love that. Thank you for your advice. Thank you for just being a kind face and a smile this week. I know you're a great supporter to the rest of our talent here. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. We have Sam coming in. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So Sam, I gotta just brag a little bit. I know you got your fashion show call back, is that correct? Yes, I did. So tell me, this was your first real audition and honestly, I assume first callback, right? Yes. So what was a callback like? Maybe for someone who has never heard of a callback before, can you explain that? So uh, I was a little caught off guard at first because it was normal is just wear what you're told and just do a walk, walk back, and they just kind of judge you on how you're looking. Then I got caught off guard because we were told to take off our shirt. Uh-oh. So it was really fun. Everybody's really supportive, and it's just a big group of guys just having fun. It's like high school all over again. I love that. So are you really kind of seeing that community within JC, that community within MTM? Yes, I really am. This entire weekend has just felt completely different than any time in my life. It's very homey, welcoming. It's just, it's like you're with your people. That makes me feel so happy. Kind of like one gigantic JC fam. Oh, yes, totally. We're big, but we're still family. Oh, yeah. Everybody <laughs> is together. No one's left out. Tim, we are so lucky you're part of that big, gigantic JC fam. Thank you, and I'm happy you're a part of it too, Zoe. Thank you. Glad you're here. Thank you. Taylor, come in and... Oh, okay, wait, you just changed since I saw you. No, am I going crazy? Take a step over here for me, please. Can I get a pose in this, though? I like it. We're going here. This is giving me grease vibes and everything. So, Taylor, I want you to tell me, how did you come across John Casablanca's? How did you start? Why did you start? Tell me that, tell me this, tell me your story. By complete accident. <laughs> You know why I asked you this. <laughs> yeah. Like how it started was that I was watching uh, some TV show. I got bored, so I looked up stuff, 
and, uh, and uh, there was like this, some sort of uh, uh, thing to sign up whatever. So I just signed up whatever, and I, uh, and just to, just to happen to get a text saying something about an audition, and yeah. So now, I know it was an accident. Would you say it was a happy accident? I think it's fate. No, oh, that makes me so happy. So since you joined John Casablancas, tell me, what has been your highlight? Was it your courses? Was it your coaches? Was it Expo? What's been your highlight of this very happy fate accident? Maybe, maybe these last couple days. It's really that special being here, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's amazing. Do you have one person who you've met here that you want to give a shout out to? Wes. Wes, that's a good one. I think, fingers crossed we're gonna meet Wes later, right? Yeah. Well, Taylor, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Good luck in your audition if you've not done so yet. Congratulations if you have. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hi, Mateo, how are you? I'm good, how are you? This is such a cool jacket. It's, it's uh, actually my grandfather's jacket. That's special. Can you give me a little turn in this? Mm -hmm. I wanna see the full, wow. So now tell me, Take a step over here for me, please. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what has been your favorite audition this week? Um, probably the singing audition. It gave me, opened up a big opportunity for me to do so. That's exciting. I took a video, oh. and I'm really, really excited to show it to you. Tell me, what song did you pick and why? I chose uh, Jack's Lament because because I really like that song of The Nightmare Before Christmas. Also, uh, I got over nine million views on TikTok because of it. What? Yes. You gotta send this to me. Okay, I will. Yeah, my goodness, will. nine million views. Let's give them a little bit of love for that, a little bit of claps for that. Some snaps, whatever you want to give them. That is amazing. Thank you. How Appreciate it. I, are you proud of yourself? Yes, I very much am. I'm very proud to be here. Good, because I'm proud of you. Everybody at JC is proud of you. Just keep killing it, okay? I, really, I will. Thank Congratulations. You. I can't mm -hmm. wait to see what you do. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Of course. Jordan's coming in. I love this look. I love your vibe. Tell me, what if you could describe your personal style? What would you explain it as? Um, I guess I just feel it as like comfortable. I love being. I love feeling comfortable in like baggy clothing or if I'm going on a night out. I love to wear more. I guess just stylish wear that gets me more comfortable on the dance floor. I love that. Do you like to dance? Yes, ma'am. Do you have a dance move for me? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma little a little floss. No. Um, now I'm more of like a shimmy kind of guy. Oh, oh see, I got shimmy out of you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, favorite thing about Expo this week? Ooh, I guess the competitions. I really like competing. It's fun. That's awesome. And I mean, you're smiling, you're telling me it's fun, so you, you feel good about this week. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. I'm amazed by you. Just keep on shimmying through life for me, okay? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for being here. Beautiful Kata, can can we recreate our like picture we did earlier? Like the boom, we did a good pose. Look how beautiful she is. Kata, I gotta say I'm so proud of you. Only 13 years old, is that correct? Yes. From Nebraska. Yep. Kata, is she not just a high fashion runway model? 13 years old from Nebraska. So, coming from Nebraska, is it a small town or a big town? Very small town. Okay, very small town. You're now traveling for modeling. Yes. How how does that feel for you? It feels very special because I get the opportunity to say I'm the only model and actress in my entire town. That's amazing. So what is your classmates, your neighbors, what does your community think? They they think it's crazy because they're just there's a lot of people who want to try it, but they just don't know how to get into the industry. So when they see me, it gives them that like little hope that someone could do it, and it feels great to be that person. You're the one doing it. I am so proud of you. Keep doing it for everybody in a small town. It's possible. Yep. Congratulations, beautiful. You keep killing it, okay? I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Oh, oh, just wait. We got the cutest little Aaron here. Hi, cutie patootie. How are you? Good. Can you give me a pose in your amazing outfit? Ooh, okay, okay. Tell me, what has been your favorite thing you've done this week? Um, swim. Swimwear? <gasps> How did it go? Good. Did everybody just go wild for you and cheer for you? No, no I talked about when we went in the swimming pool. Oh, 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 not the modeling, not the acting, going in the swimming pool, right? Yeah. Let's be honest, the kids like the swimming. Beautiful, How old are you? Nine. Nine? And what do you want to be when you grow up? Do you want to be an actress? Do you want to be a silly actress? Do you want to be a serious actress? What kind of actress do you want to be? 
You want to be a silly? Can you show me your silly face? You have a silly face for me? No! You don't have a silly face for me? I don't believe it. Can I get a smile from you then? Give me a smile over here. <gasps> Isn't she adorable? Good I job. You can talk in Barbie's voice, I think. We need to hear this. Hi, I'm Barbie. You are the new Barbie. I love that. Just Barbie in yellow, right? Yeah. Good job, Ethel. You keep killing it this week, okay? You can go right this way and go see Coach Nina. Hi, Nala. How are you? I'm good. Okay, so she sounds like Barbie. Girl, you look like Barbie. <laughs> I love this outfit on you. Thank you. So now, Nala, why do you like modeling and acting? I love modeling and acting because I just get to be myself, show my personality, and just be a better version of myself along the way. I love that. And what do your friends think? Like your friends from school and everything, what do they think knowing you're actually a model and actor? Um, they're really proud of me. Yeah. And um, sometimes I used to actually, um, actually say, in front of third grade and fourth grade for a program. Love and that. Thank you. And I think that was um, also part of my journey and how I thought about coming here. Oh, I'm so proud of you. You're just, oh my goodness, just a ball of talent and amazingness. And I'm so glad you're here, beautiful. Thank you. Keep killing it this week for me, okay? Okay. Good job, beautiful. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, Cassie, tell me about the makeup here because we are having fun with it. My friends did my makeup for me so that I look good for runway. And how did runway go? It went fantastic. Fantastic? Mm -hmm. How does it feel being on the stage, being on the runway, having people watch? How does that feel? It feels pressure, but it feels good. I like it. Aww. And what has been your favorite thing this week? Monologue. Monologue! So tell me, what monologue did you pick or what monologue did you write? I did no comparison. It's about a girl who's gay and can't come out to her family members. That's amazing. So there's really a lot of love, a lot of heart into this monologue. Yeah. I think that's amazing. If you could tell somebody who's new to modeling and acting one piece of advice, what would you tell them? Just give it your all and do your best. I love that. I am so glad you're here. I think you are the definition of giving it your all and doing your best, and I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Keep it up, my love. Mike, are you gonna be loud and proud for me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Mike, remind me, how old are you? 12. 12? Okay, how did you start modeling and acting? Um, I started with John Casablanca's, the meetings, and I did it for 30 weeks. Awesome, and was that something mom was interested in, something you were interested in? Um, both I and my mom were interested in it. That's awesome. And did you have a favorite part? Maybe a favorite coach, a favorite class, a favorite topic? Um, I think you were my favorite coach. Oh, you make me so happy. I loved having you in our session. What's been your favorite part about this week? Let's move on to now you're in Texas actually doing it. What's your favorite part now? Um, I felt like it was a pool party and making new friends. That's amazing. Do you think you're gonna stay in touch with your friends you've made here? Um, yes, I actually got some number. Perfect. Micah, you're just such a little gentleman. We are so proud of you and so glad you're part of our family. You keep Thank it you. up, bud, okay? Okay, good job. Hi, Riley. Hi. I love this outfit. Beautiful, beautiful. So tell me, where did, I love your style this week, especially like your little shorts last night. I know that might have been a swim cover up, but tell me, what is your personal style or what kind of inspires your outfits? Um, honestly, that's kind of weird. I, I never thought I would ask Just that whatever question. is comfortable, because I love it. I love yeah. your style. Like, including because of like, um, my age and like everybody who's like around me, they all dress the same and I wanted to be different. I like that. And so being different might be something important to you because yes. at what age, remind me? I'm at 17. 17. At 17, I mean, girl, life's not always easy, right? <laughs> no, it's not. Being different, is that kind of something you've liked about doing modeling and acting, trying to be yourself, be unique? Yes, for sure, including because like, as a kid, I was always different from everyone else. I think that's amazing. And now 
being maybe not fitting in as much growing up or whatever it might have been, how does it feel to just be an actual model, an actual actor doing it? Does it, do you get that confidence back? I for sure, I actually got more confidence uh, during uh, John Casablanca's in the classes. That makes me so happy. What was your favorite topic? Did you like the runway? Did you like the acting, the skincare, the makeup? What was it? I honestly love the skincare, the makeup, and all that. That was probably my favorite. It's so fun. It's so something. It's something new. It's something different. You don't really think about it, right? Yes. It's very important, isn't it? It really is, actually, for this too, as well. Tell everybody to wash their face. Their skin's as pretty as you. Yes. Definitely well, wash your face. You want to look like her. <laughs> Thank you, beautiful, so Thank much you. for being here. Keep it up this week. I will. Kelvin, come on in. Hi. How are you? Good. You're back. <laughs> okay, so Kelvin, you were here with us last year, right? Yes. And now you're back this year. Why are you here again? I'm so excited. Honestly, because I liked it last time, and I even I loved it even more this time. <gasps> okay, so you loved it even more this time. Yes. I want you to tell me what you love. Tell me what you like. I love being able to meet like the other people, being able to actually have the confidence, actually know what I was doing. That's amazing. Do you feel good about everything you did this time? Yes, time? very much so. That's awesome. Now, I want you to tell me your experience now. Tell me you know what you're doing. What would you tell someone who is maybe on the edge? Should I try modeling? Should I try acting? What do you think they should know before they start modeling and acting? Definitely, don't ever, don't ever be too shy. Like if you're on like the runway, for example, just flow. Don't be too stiff. Don't be too, don't be too like uptight. Just, just, just walk. Oh, okay. We got it. We got our runway tips here. Flow. <laughs> don't be stiff. Just let it go. How was your runway walk? It was. It was a little bit of both because I was still kind of nervous. That's okay. But it wasn't as tight and up, like uptight. It wasn't like Barbie walk. Yeah, you're getting used to it, right? Yeah. Very well, you, much. you're just a kind of a swag of a person, and I genuinely believe you bring that swag of a person into your runway walk. Thank you. We'll keep on walking it out. Keep on being amazing. Will well, I see you here next year? Uh, I'll try to be. I would love to. Thank you for being here. Yes. Say hi to your family. They're absolutely amazing. Shout out to them. Right. Thank you. You're hi, Sierra. Hi. So I want you to tell me. What does being a part of the John Casablanca's family mean to you? Like, your definition of John Casablanca's family. I feel like it really kind of supports and brings your confidence back because they're, like I said, like before, even to myself, there's a lot of competition going on. There's a lot of, like, judging. And I know we try to compare and contrast ourselves, but it's, like, really, it's more about them putting you where you need to be, whether it needs to be in acting, modeling, and you kind of gain your confidence on that part. I love that. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. And how has your confidence go? I've honestly seen I, your confidence just rise this week. Yes. So yes. from the beginning to now, how has your confidence changed? I think it changed more on just me wanting to be more myself and dressing like casual, right? Because of course, but also trying to impress knowing that I could do more than what I'm just, what I think I could do. So it's kind of going the that. more steps ahead. You're yeah. now believing in yourself. Yes, we yes. all know you could do it, but yes. now you believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm so proud of you. Keep being thank yourself. You. Keep doing it. Keep shining, girl, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Of course. Here comes Miss Jennifer. Hi, beautiful. How are you? Come on in here so we can see you. <gasps> Jennifer, I want you to tell me your modeling and acting story. How did you get started? Why did you get started? So I got started because I love watching shows and I just admired how they would like act and show all their different emotions. And um, I started making my research and that's when I found this great company, John Casablanca. You're and, just as great. <laughs> and I joined it and it's really amazing. They have taught me a lot and I've been going on. With them. You've been doing great with us. Can I say that? Can I correct you? Yes. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Now, now that you've been absolutely doing so great, mm -hmm. what has been your favorite competition this week? Um, I would definitely say it was the monologue because I created it and oh, so special. I wanted to show the emotion and I feel like I did good. So that's why I, I was really excited about that one. Can I say I know you did good? 
Yes. <laughs> I am so proud of you. Keep on smiling. You were just such a bright light. Keep going, girl, okay? Thank you so much. You are so welcome. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Oh. Okay, ready for this outfit? I am excited. Drum roll, please. Pink, beautiful. Take a step in so we can see you, Miss Haley. Okay, I love your outfit. I've told you this a million times. Tell me, why did you choose it? I really liked the vibe, and I'm a huge jumpsuit person. I'm not normally super dressy, but I like dressing up for these kinds of events, but I literally got this at Target. Love it, shout out to them, right? Okay, so where are you from? I wanna start with it. I am from Minnesota. Min okay, Minnesota, small town? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Small town Minnesota gal, I'm a small town gal too. How does it feel traveling for modeling, traveling for acting, like actually doing this? I really like it. I went to LA previously for it, so I've always loved the traveling aspect of things. That's literally my personality is traveling and creativity. I want to move to LA at some point. Ooh, okay, okay. I think that is amazing. Now, what is your favorite part about modeling and acting? I know you get to travel for it, and you've been doing so good, so what's been your favorite part? I really like being able to put yourself into a mind of another character and like being creative and just putting yourself into a mind of someone that you never like relate to and then you can just become them. I think that's amazing. Well, you've done such a good job of that. You are channeling Barbie vibes here too. And I love it, like business Barbie. Keep being you, keep doing you this week and just kill it, okay? Thank you. Of course. We got some color coming, Miss Tori. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, I think take one step in with me. I know, I know. I don't know if cooties, I promise. <laughs> so Tori, tell me, how has been your, how has your experience been this week? It's so, so busy, so much, so overwhelming, so fun. Tell me about it. Um, I think that this has really been an amazing experience. Like, that's the most that I can say about it. Like, an amazing experience. I made some awesome friends here and I just, this is a really positive experience for me. I, I think this is amazing. That, that makes me so, so happy. So now, <laughs> your friends that you've made here, do you intend on keeping those relationships after you leave here this week? Absolutely. That's Absolutely. awesome. That's awesome. And what is your favorite thing about John Casablanca? Um, I think my favorite thing would be just how much they've helped me come out of my own show. Like, I've... I've had really bad anxiety my whole life, and I'm really just trying to push myself past that boundary. Honestly, from your first day to today, I see you pushing so hard this week, and I'm so proud of you. I just can't wait to see what you end up doing. Thank you so much. Of course, I'm so proud of you. Keep it up. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> I'm excited. Here comes Miss Bella. So Bella, I can I tell everybody the story of how we met? Yes. So Bella was in, I think it was your first day, right? So we had Bella in her first day, and I remember you just a little bit shy, right? And I think you are not shy anymore. I think you're doing absolutely amazing, and can I tell you how proud I am of you? Super, 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 super proud of you, my love. So, Bella, what is your favorite, modeling or acting? Modeling. Modeling, why? Uh, because I don't have to talk to people. <laughs> you, we, you like to, do your poses, do your runway, right? Yes. So we worked on some poses last night. Can you show me some of the poses we did last night? I know you don't have your pockets, but let me hold this. Show me some poses, girl. Oh, oh, here comes Miss Bella. Give me another one. I love it, I love it, Bella. I am so proud of you. You just keep posing, Miss Girl, okay? I'm gonna take this one off of you, and I'm so glad you're here, beautiful. Here is Miss Giselle, also known as, would you just say about yourself? I'm a bumblebee. Isn't this, you can even spin like little Miss Bumblebee. Okay, very stylish. Where, where was your inspiration behind this? I love it. I actually came up with this outfit last minute, so I just threw it together when I had. It's Shout out to last minute. Is this something you always wanted to do, or was this something new for you? It was always secretly something I wanted to do, but my sister really pursued me, like pushed me into it, and now I just really want to get out there and Secrets do everything I can. Secrets out. You're a model and an actor now. <laughs> yeah. So what do your friends think back home? Are they like excited? Are they shocked? Are they jealous? Are they supportive? What is that kind of feeling of having now the eyes on you, right? Um. No one really knows that I do modeling, though. Oh, this so. is so. This is so. Okay. So one secret out that you want to do, it, but you're doing it, it's still a secret. 
Yes, I'm doing it with my sister and that's about it. I'm not telling anyone else. <laughs> I love that. So now when you're on like the cover magazine one day or like a commercial or something, it's gonna be a big surprise. Yes, I'm like, oh, that's me. Oh, that's you. <laughs> I love it. So it, when that big break happens, would you want it to be? Do you want it to be a magazine? Do you want it to be a fashion show? Do you want it to be a play, a commercial? What do you want that big? surprise to me. Um, my biggest goal at the moment is to find myself as um, somewhere, somewhere, hopefully, in a Netflix series. <gasps> Netflix so. series. Okay, okay, <laughs> watch out. We're going to see Miss Giselle or a little Bumblebee there one day. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, beautiful. Keep it up. Thank you. Hi, Joe. Welcome on in here, Miss Queen. Yes. Okay. I don't even know where to start. There's like a million questions I want to ask you. Okay. You have such a fun, bold personality. Have you always been like this? Or is this something kind of a new, grown confidence? No, I've always been like this. If you ask my family, I'm so outspoken. I'm extra, as they say, but I say they're not extra enough. Oh, 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 okay. So you're not extra. Everyone else is just not extra enough. Right. You know what? Yes. <laughs> okay, so now you've had this person I growing up. What was that I'm gonna model, I'm gonna act moment? My sister actually models on the side. And when I saw, and she, she's like, you know, your average model. She's 5'10", she's slim. And I'm like, oh, I wish I could do that. And she's like, you know, I'm the youngest sister, she's the oldest. So she's like, you can do that. You don't have to be tall. You don't have to be slim. You're perfect size. There's plus size models, there's different models. So you can do it. And once she told me that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get into classes and I'm gonna, you know, Okay, so it. now for someone who didn't believe they could do this, but now is doing it, what would you tell that little girl, that little boy who thinks the same way? I couldn't do this. I'm not tall enough. I'm not whatever. What are you gonna tell them to know they can do it? So I saw, I heard this from a movie. Can't should never be in a woman or man's vocabulary. So don't say that you can't do something. You can always do it. Just have them do the research, have the knowledge, and the drive and the passion to do it. Just go for it. Just do it. Just do it, like Nike. There you go. <laughs> I mean, you literally just did it. I'm so proud exactly. of you. Keeping extra, the world needs a lot more of you. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank I'm glad you you're so much here. Sydney's coming. Ooh. Oh, 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 give me like a little, little, little boot moment. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Maybe a spin with this. Yes, Sydney. Yes. Oh my goodness, I feel like you're like the new Taylor Swift, like the blonde hair, a little bit of curls, but a little country. Oh, thank you, Zoe. Of course. So, Sydney, where are you from? Appleton, Wisconsin. Oh, kind of cool. How does it feel being able to like travel for modeling and acting, being able to kind of like actually doing this outside of Wisconsin? It's definitely an experience, one I will never forget, and one I hope to have many more of. Oh, okay, so something you'll never forget. What has been your favorite memory this week? Just getting to meet all the people, the, all the talent, all the agents and scouts, and expanding my networking circle. And for someone coming from a small town like you, do you suggest they just go do it? Follow their dreams, just Oh, do it? absolutely. I think that's amazing. Do you have any advice for someone who's maybe contemplating, kind of thinking about doing this? Don't think, just do it. I like it, I like it. Don't think, just do it, right? The dumb model stereotype. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We're actually smart. She's very smart, right? You're doing good in school, right? I was in college, class is freshman year of high school. There you go. You can be pretty and smart. This is your proof. Thank you for being beautiful. All right. Thank you, Zoe. Of course. Ashley's coming in. Just wait for this outfit. Super dapper, super handsome. I didn't have to tell him to spin. <laughs> now, you have just such a great personality. I absolutely love it. What type of modeling and acting do you really want to use to show that personality? So I've been always wanting to go into voice acting because I love cartoons and then actual acting like with kids and because of how I look, I love to be like the older teenager kind yeah. of way and just be that annoying brother sometimes. But hey! So tell me, how old are you? I'm 27. Are you a vampire? Like my no. goodness. That's Mama Jeans right here. Wow! <laughs> So ju ju in case you didn't know, your career is going to be so long, and I think that's going to be amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. Really, and you have so much energy <laughs> for 27. Like, 
My goodness, so how do you just always stay so positive and so upbeat and so excited? So just like my mama taught me, you know, my gift is borrowed from the Lord and that's how it is. I love that you are an absolute blessing to be here. We Thank love you having so you much. here. Keep going. I'll wait for you to be the annoying older, older brother, okay? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. We have a treat coming in. We have a four lady. Yeah. Look at all these little lovely ladies. Tell me, what's your name? Aubrey. Aubrey, and how old are you? Eight years old. Eight years old, and do you want to be a model, an actor, or both? Model. A model. I think that's a great idea for you. And tell me, my love, what's your name? Paula. And how old are you? Eleven. Model, actor, or both? Both. Both. I love that answer. Come into here in the middle. You can hold it. Tell me your name. My name is Miranda. How old are you? Believe it or not, I'm twelve. I look older than twelve. You very tall, very. Come I'm wearing heels. Oh yeah, there you go. And model, actor, or both? Um, both, if you could sprinkle a little bit of singer in there, maybe just a little. Ooh! Okay, did you, you did singing this week, right? I did not do singing this week. You did not? I did not do singing. So we gotta sprinkle a little singing in yeah. there, don't we? Yeah, just, just a little. Sprinkle. Just a little. I love that, and you've got a microphone, girl. <laughs> What's your name? Arian. And how old are you? Ten. And model, actor, or both? Both. Both? And cute girls get together, do a cute little stand together, do a cute little wave, say hi! Good job, girls. Oh, yeah, this is one good group. Oh, 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 okay, okay. We have a very handsome group of gentlemen here. So I'm gonna ask you guys your name, and I want you to tell me one word that reminds you of John Casablanca's. Reminds me of John Casablanca's? Yeah. You tell uh, one excellent. Word. excellent. Excellent. I like any name. Dominic Lujan. I love it, I love it. Uh, Jackson Hamilton, and it is pristine. Ooh, I like these words. They're awesome. It's Vince Brew, and I would say it's dreamy. Dreamy, I like it, I like it. Elijah Lee, I would say it's fun. Fun. I am so glad you gentlemen are here. Can you guys do like a group pose for me a little bit? Come in a little bit. You guys look oh, so yeah. handsome. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah. Back oh. Back. oh, I like it, I like it. Come in oh, a little bit. Look at these handsome gentlemen. Give a little wave. Say hi. What's up? Nailed it. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys. Let's have. I'm gonna ask your guys' name and where you guys are from. Joseph Winsel. I'm from Oklahoma. Oh, I love it. Anna Claire, also from Oklahoma. What a quinkadink. Frederick Robeson, I'm from Houston, Texas. Oh, okay, you're close to home a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Gregory Gus, originally from Colorado, but I reside in Austin, Texas. I love that. Now, what, how would you guys describe, quickly for me, how would you guys describe the friendships you've made this week? Um, very uh, inspirational. Fast and strong. Oh, <laughs> yes, I love it, I love it. Super and outstanding. I love it. Very humbling and inspiring, like just seeing everybody. All of the above, if I could check one. Oh, amazing. Give you, come in a little closer for yourselves. Give a quick little wave. Yay! Awesome, guys. Thank you so, so much. So, I'm going to ask you guys what type of modeling and acting you really want to do. Like, what's your dream, okay? So, go ahead and now tell me your name and what type of modeling and acting is really your dream that you really want to do. Um, I'm Elizabeth Angerson, and I guess for me, I really Oh, I like it. We got some bold, got some action over here. Yeah, I'm Jarrell Gandy. And, uh, I'm more into movies. But I like, I, I really like to do series, but I'm more into movies, though. So I think I like both of them. <laughs> we got some good actors over here. They're having a hard time answering. <laughs> I'm Wesley Holden. I'm more into acting, into comedy movies. Comedy. Do you have an inspiration, an actor that's really inspired you? Because that's such a great... Ooh, so. Robin Williams. Agreed. No words. I love it. My name is Valentino Flores Newsome. I'm leaning more into acting, and I prefer action, comedy, horror, suspense, TV shows, movies, you name it. I'm we talented. just got a bunch of actors. Can we get like all four of you in a movie together? 
Yeah. 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 What kind of movie would it be? It's got to be a comedy action over here. Cross country adventure, right? We're heading to Texas. Thank you guys so much for being here. Enjoy the rest of your nights, guys. So we have the beautiful, gorgeous Miss Mia here. Isn't she just stunning? Mia, tell me, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. And Mia, what was your favorite part of John Casablanca's? The runway. The runway. Now, you just walked the runway today, right? How did that feel? Cool. Cool. And what pose did you do on the runway? Do you want to show us? Show me. Ooh, can you give me a little turn with it? Oh, yes, Miss Mia. I am so proud of you. You're doing great this week, beautiful. Thank you. We're gonna run a little wave. Say hi, guys. Good job. Say hi to Dad. We got Super Dad over here. Thank you, beautiful. Okay, okay. To be completely honest, I'm surrounded by two absolute queens. Please introduce yourself. Tawana Houston from Houston. Ah, please introduce yourself. Sadia Scott from Shreveport, Louisiana. Oh my goodness, now I gotta say, I ran downstairs this morning to catch the end of the singing and dancing and caught you two, which blew me away. Yeah. What made you start dancing? Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson. Come oh on yeah, the little Jacksons yes. in here. Yes. I like Ms. it, I Jackson, like it. Miss Jackson, Oh, and then I caught your song and song writing. Yes. What made you start singing and also writing? Oh, well, uh, I started singing when I was um, four years old, just in church, you know, um, and they put me on lead um, like for all the songs. So I was like, that inspired me. And then for songwriting, I kind of just started with songwriting. Um, so it's something that just kind of like people tell me I'm capable of doing, so I do it. <laughs> I love it. You two are some queens. Can I get some like dance moves or something from you guys? I feel like you are so much fun. Look at these two. I adore you too. Thank you. So oh, you're just, you can like uh, keep on dancing. They, have more moves for you. These ones don't stop. Oh, oh, let me just, let me just, okay. yeah, yeah, let me get out of here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't know how to dance, but we'll go figure it out. <laughs> you're dancing on my dancers. Goodbye, goodbye. Bye. Bye, ladies. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh my gosh, we got like every outfit inspired here possible. So I am going to ask you your guys' names and why you started modeling and acting. What was your inspiration? What was kind of your, I'm gonna do this moment? Uh, my name is Brittany Elise Wells and why not? Love it. <laughs> to the point, that's the correct answer, why not? My name is Rachel Hardy and I started it because it was something that my parents did and so then I stepped into it and in 2020 my mom passed away so I'm doing it now uh, in honor of her. Oh, I love yeah. that. And just a little bit, a little bit. Introduce yourself and why did you start modeling and acting? Hi, my name is Diamond People. Uh, why did I start modeling? I just love the industry. I love looking good. I love heels. I love color. I just love it all. So I want to be a part of it so bad. I love that. If you guys could give just one, almost and come in this way a little bit, I'm pushing you. One just like word or quick phrase of confidence or kind of support or encouragement, what would you give? Uh, no matter what happens, if you believe that you can do it, just go ahead and do it. Just put everything aside and just go and do it. I love it. You know, uh, it only takes one connection. And that's what I always say. So you you may see 10 people, but it just takes one to make that connection for you. So I keep love moving. That. I love that. Everyone is unique and special, so show yours. All three of you are so unique and so special. And thank you ladies so much for being here. Give like a quick wave, a quick cry. Woo! Thank you ladies. Thank you. It's a group of ladies. So come as close kind of back to the backdrop as you can and kind of give me a little prom pose if you can. There you go, there you go, come on in. So ladies, I'm gonna ask you your name and who is your inspiration? So is, was it a professional model, an actor, a family member, a coach? Who is your inspiration for your career? Hi, my name is Sonara DeMarco and I think I've had a lot of inspiration but I'm gonna go with what really got me into acting is Robert De Niro. Oh, I He's can't the blame legend. you legend, legend. Yes, and go ahead and introduce yourself. Beautiful, and tell me who's your inspiration. Hello, my name is Precious on a Man, and my inspiration is Cindy. Oh, I, you guys, great inspirations. 
Hello, my name is Stephanie Scott and my inspiration are my parents, but they're no longer here, but I'm here in, in representation of them. I love that. You ladies are so special. Tell me just like one feeling you felt this week. Excitement. Confidence. Confidence. I love that. You guys are exciting and confident. Give, give everyone a group pose really quickly. Oh yes, oh yes. My three queens, enjoy the rest of your night. Okay, so I can't believe this. I think I'm in the middle of the four most beautiful ladies here. My goodness, look at these queens. Like, they're slaying, aren't they? I just can't believe it. So now, ladies, I'm gonna ask you your name and what was your favorite part about John Casablanca? My name is Monique J. The best part I thought was meeting these wonderful ladies because I've never met them until I came to this awesome event. <gasps> and I'm coming to you right here. My name is Jacqueline Brumfield, and my best event that I've had here was the singing <gasps> audition. I love that. And go ahead and introduce yourself and your favorite part about JC. My name is Sandra Never, and my favorite part of JC is just enjoying everybody seeing all the different talents and giving me uh, just something to believe in. Go home and lose weight and, and come back next year. Oh, we're going <laughs> to see you again? Yes, ma'am. I ma can't wait to see you again. <laughs> and go ahead and introduce yourself and tell me your favorite part about JC. Okay, well, my name is Sloan Lighthouse, and my favorite part of JC is the coaches. Oh. I have enjoyed each one of them. They empower us. They inspire us. So my favorite part is the coaches and the workshop. Aww, ladies, give me up like a group hug. You guys are all so amazing. I love every single one of you. Thank you guys for being here. You're a great inspiration. Thank you too. You're a great inspiration so yourself. Amazing. Thank you. Here you go, beautiful. Okay, Thank you guys. I have a million questions I want to ask you two, so I'm, I'm having a hard time here. Oh my goodness. Okay. So ladies, I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself, of course, and then tell me what would you tell someone who is kind of on the edge of starting modeling and acting? Like, why should they do it? And kind of how has it helped you or learn or grow? So just kind of give them a little inspiration. Okay. Hi, I'm Caitlin Lee. Um, I think this is a great industry. It's been really fun. I've gotten out of my shell very much lately. It has been a wild experience and a great one, and I think it is a great shot. You should try it. If it's not for you, it's not for you. If it's for you, it's for you. I love that. You, it's at least worth a shot, right? Yes. It's like a sport. It's like a club. It's something yes. you should at least try. Always. I love that. <laughs> Absolutely adding on to Caitlin. Don't knock it till you try it. My name is Brady Knoll, and I'm gonna tell you guys that confidence sells. It's you don't have to believe in yourself, you just need the confidence. Fake it till you make it because eventually you'll get there. You two are the deaf, you guys are like the dynamic duo, two queens over here. I just love the confidence you two have and just watching you guys walk around, becoming friends, doing everything together. It's been so inspiring to see you two. Absolutely. I know Rebecca's not here. She's in the fashion that show. I know true. she's your I know she's your little trio. Rebecca and Lily. Lily too. Lily's Lily, great Lily's one. so ah, great. Okay, okay. The friend group just keeps growing. There's so growing many. Growing. That's another yeah. thing about the industry is everybody's here to do the same thing. So like support and love and help somebody get to where you want to be because eventually that help will come right back to you. And I was going to say, we didn't meet each other until, what, what day would we get here? Tuesday, Wednesday? Wednesday, We met maybe? each other all on Wednesday for, for the first audition. And it was just like, it was Instant. best friends. Yeah. I love it, ladies. So inspired by you two. And I know Lily and Rebecca. And keep on going. They're great. Thank, Thank you. So of course, of course. To introduce the amazing Kyle Wanamaker. I, I'm Kyle Wanamaker. I'm an Army veteran, and this is the best thing that's happened to me in 15 years. And now I can become a model and an actor. I want to do commercials. I, I used to be a real good professional skateboarder. I would drop in six feet all the way up on top of a box, do a kickflip or 360 flip off the edge, and, and have a black belt in karate. I was in 28 fights, all self-defense, and then I was totally ready to join the army, so I joined up, and then I got hurt. And it, unfortunately, a car accident right after basic training, in, in, infantry training. And so Kyle, you've done so many things in your life, and despite a 
accident, you are still following your dreams. Is that right? Yes, every day. I think that's amazing. Kyle, I just want to say I've been wanting to meet you, I've been waiting to meet you, and I'm just so glad you're here. It's nice to finally meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Okay, you keep killing it this week, okay? Okay, I'll keep exercising, getting stronger. There you go, we are so proud of you. Sounds good. Great job. Okay, so ladies, I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself and just tell me about your favorite experience, your favorite moment this week. Hello, I'm Andrea Nunez. I'm from Orlando, Florida. And basically one of, I guess, the greatest moments I have here in the Expo is the, the pretty much the feeling that you get from everybody. They're so welcoming. Like it's, everybody telling you, oh, you did a great job. They're keeping, you know, like motivated. So I really love that from that experience. And also you get to work with a lot of amazing and talented people. So that's always good as well. So it helps you improve yourself as well. Oh, that makes me so happy. Beautiful, go ahead and introduce yourself and just tell me your favorite experience this week, whatever it may be. Okay, so hi, I'm Paulina Rubio. I'm from San Antonio and my favorite experience this week was probably doing like the workshops and the runway. It was just like a really great feeling, everyone hyping up everyone, no matter like what age everyone is, like young people, older people, everyone just hyping each other up, being so nice to each other, complimenting each other. It's just, it's really amazing. The vibes are great. No, you guys are making me so happy. Then you go ahead. Hi, my name is Sofia Del Rosa. Okay. My goodness, it's okay. correct me, yell at me. No, it's okay, um, I'm from Austin, Texas. Um, my favorite thing so far is really just the experience of everyone around me. They're so supportive and all of like, um, like the staff members and the talent, they're just all so amazing and they are just so nice to each other and I love it. Oh, you three <laughs> ladies are amazing. I am so <laughs> glad you're here. Give them like a good pose before you, before you leave. Look how fast, look how easy that was. Such natural, beautiful ladies. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you. So. Ashuk, I, I just have to say, you know I had you in so many classes, yes. and when I walked down and saw you, my heart filled with joy. It was so exciting seeing you. So tell me just, what was, kind of, what did it feel for you to come here and do this and kind of follow your dreams? I wanna hear about that. I think it was the greatest experience, learning. That's more important, I think that's what I learned, what to do, what not to do, because it's different when you're in a class, but you come just like a first like a experience you will have like in a real life type. So so I was I'm very excited. I'm here and I it's great to see you again after the see class. You. Uh, I really loved it uh, and uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. That's amazing. And then go ahead and introduce yourself and tell me why did you pursue acting? Because I think acting is just. I think you're meant for it. I think you have the personality for it. I think you have the drive for it. But why did you decide to pursue it? Well, my name it is of a, a, a it is of a, a, a my name it is of a, a, a Lanel Devad, and I have decided to do so because it was something that I have wanted to do. I have done some of it in a, a junior high, and I have liked it. It's just there was a few things I had to get over first. Of course, everybody has those hurdles, whether it's confidence or just all kinds of stuff. And I'm so proud of you for doing so. I think you've killed it this week. Thank you. Of course. And, okay, can I brag about you a little bit? Sure. Okay, so first of all, tell us who you are. I'm Hudson Balin. And now Hudson, you walked the runway this week, right? Yes, I did. And you got a call back. Yes, Give I did. yourself a little woo, woo, woo. Woo! I am so proud of you. Can you explain how that kind of, I know it was the callback, can you kind of explain just how that first little bit of success felt for you? Uh, well, I'm, I came here to be an actor, so, and coming here to get a callback from being a model in that, I just can't believe it because I didn't know that I was really meant to be like a model or something. But then I get a call back and basically I have a new dream, so. 
Oh, that makes me so happy. I gotta say, gentlemen, you are uniquely different, uniquely special, and I'm just so glad you guys are here. Give me a quick wave, a little. <laughs> So, Ashuk, I know you've had an entire career. Can you briefly tell us what was your career? I, I was an aerospace executive in an aerospace company. Then after the pandemic, I stayed home for a little bit. I just said, oh, I don't, I'm done with that. So I left my corporate job. I wanted to follow my long dream, which I had put on hold for so many years because of the other priority. So I said, I'm going to do the things I want to do now, go for modeling and acting. And so you're following your dreams. Absolutely. You've waited for this. How does that feel? It feels great. I, I know I can do what I want to do, not what doing for others. And so for somebody out there listening and watching who maybe is in that corporate job or who has maybe been waiting and wanting to do this, what would you tell them? I think the thing is you follow your dream. This is the time. There's always the right time. There's always no right time. But when you want to start, start now. That's the right time. I love that. You've inspired me. I'm I'm like, can you be my coach? You inspire me so, so much. You are a big coach. I learned a lot from you. So Thank you. Okay. I'm so happy you're here. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Joy. You. Take care. Can you ladies give me a little prom, a little closer in? And just give me some poses here. Like, oh, oh, keep, yes. Look at these queens. They never stop, do they? So now, ladies, I'm gonna ask you to introduce yourself and just tell me, what does the JC family mean to you? Oh, that's a good question. So my name is Avery Renee, and the JC family to me is honestly so welcoming. I did not expect this out of this experience. I have met these lovely ladies, I have met everybody here. It has been such a humbling experience and I can only imagine what is next, to be honest. So, Aww, you are my heart. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kalila Tullah Goodman. What JC means to me is integrity, truth, love, and harmony. And I'm so glad to be a part of this nation with these girls. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lana Borisov, and the JC family has taught me a lot. The number one thing is not to be afraid of who you are. I have met a lot of amazing people like these ladies and made a lot of friends, but most importantly, I have learned to be myself and to bring out who I am. Yes, absolutely. I agree. Can I do like a love group that. hug with you, ladies? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, love you, ladies. Keep doing Thank it. You. Keep killing. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Okay, so first of all, introduce yourself. Tell me a little bit about yourself, and then I'll ask you your question. Hi, I'm Betty Olson. A little bit about myself. I'm from Minnesota. Um, absolutely love swimming and beach days. Might not look like it. I'm a little bit on the paler side. Haven't been out as much, but definitely like to get outdoorsy. Uh, my name's Savannah. I'm also from Minnesota, and I love like uh, going swimming. I love longboarding. Anything outdoors, just like perfect for me. Yeah. And so, ladies, the question I want to ask you is. What does the John Casablanca's family mean to you? What is the JC fam? What does that mean to you? So for me, the John Casablanca's family means really open, working together. Like even on the Zoom meetings when there was no in-person classes, everyone was so good at working together. Like we're just always there to build each other up and support each other. And that's what I mostly love about it. How about you? Yeah, I would say the same and like positivity is really big and just like support and enthusiasm. I love that, ladies. You are just so sweet. I'm so excited that you guys met each other. I'm so glad you guys made friends. Are you gonna stay in contact after today? Yes. After no, this? Yeah. No, we definitely are. We're gonna start our own little Minnesota friend group and hopefully get a little thing going up in Minnesota here. I love yeah. that, ladies. You keep killing it. Get, give me like one pose together. So I feel like you guys are like the dynamic duo. Oh yes, yes, girls. Beautiful, ladies. Grand finale. Give those two a round of applause. Thank you so much, yeah. ladies. You're amazing. Thank you guys all so, so, so much for coming. We love our talent. We are so proud of them. Every single one of our talent has a unique story, a unique talent, and we are so incredibly proud of them. Showing them off is absolute warming my heart, and they're a hoot and a half, every single one of them, and we just love them. Our JC fam is big, but we are one big family. One of our talent, Dominic, just told me to live your impossible life. And I strongly believe that's what every single one of our talent is doing. They are living the life they have always dreamed of, living the life they never thought they could do. And I'm so incredibly proud of every single one of our talent. 
from youngest to oldest to been doing this forever to just started. I'm so proud of our talent and we could not be just more ecstatic about the amazing, amazing hearts we have. Our JC family's big, but we are one heck of a family and we love every single one of them.